See, if you had, from rapid build, you have a plan, obviously the scaffolding comes in about four or five different stages, and I think I'm looking at this as stage two. So uh, Jim's going to explain just how this works, because what you've got is to anchor the scaffold to give it rigidity. Hell of a word, that. Uh, what you've got is you've got to have your bottom. What's this got on this bottom, Jim? Well, we call this a kicker lift. Kicker lift, yeah. Uh, so basically, you've got to put the kicker lift in. Now, what's, what's yeah. the thing with that? Well, the big advantage with that is that it gives uh, the right level for the bricklayer to work on because it can work on inside boards, which will be at this level right here. And beyond that, you can work off the uh, off the units that you've just previously been shown, off the bracket units. So we can work at various levels that can be adjustable vertically and horizontally. But the uh, big advantage of this is that you've got freedom of access all the way around here with no internal brackets getting in anybody's way. And because we're using these ready lock units, they can be positioned above head height. Then again, the ledges can be fixed straight into them and free access all the way around for anybody using this level. And it's the same for all the other levels as well. Uh, these ready lock units are put in place. And, um, the big advantage again, the only braces going in are the, the face braces, no internal braces. And because we've got this kicker lift going in here, it gives um, a rigidity and a stability to the scaffold that you wouldn't ordinarily have. Plus if you've got ground conditions which are undulating, then this compensates for all those kind of ground conditions. What we've got here is the basic lay uh, layout of the scaffolding. Uh, we're, at, uh, we're on the kicker lift here, which is the same height as the plinth. And what's happening is I'll, I'll put this standard here at 825 centimetres so that um, it's the right distance to get the brackets in, which I'll explain about in a minute. On, the, on this level here, we've got two inside boards, which is exactly the right. Uh, distance for the bricky to work at up to about waist height. Then from there on, we fix in these brackets, which are the hop ups. Now, these brackets are adjustable, they can be adjusted horizontally and vertically. And these brackets are attached onto these standards here, which themselves are attached onto the two ledges. Now, these brackets can be adjusted in such a way that the Bricky can work independently from the main scaffold and effectively what you've got here are two scaffolds. You've got the, the thick scaffold which is permanently in place and then on the inside you've got effectively an independent scaffold which is attached to the main one but is adjustable so that the Bricky can then have three board wire on, onto this top up here and then when he's putting the face bricks on he can change them to a two board wide bracket and using this method uh, the roof can Ready lock uh, transom unit into place here. It just goes straight across between the standards and it measures up at uh, 2100 millimetres.